Bathuri, uh, Bathuri Adventist Hospital was started in the 1970s. It started as a small medical clinic that was run by a nurse who was the wife of the mission president here. And then in the 80s, we had a Romanian doctor, Dr. George, who came and turned it into a hospital at that point. And so the hospital has very minimal materials. Uh, we think, I think we have uh, two stethoscopes in the whole hospital. Two months ago, I came to Baturi to do a site visit. Actually, I came to Cameroon to work with Monita Birch, uh, the Adventist Health Country Director, uh, to think of different ideas of what we could do for um, a SIMS team to come down. So we decided a health fair would be a lot of fun. You know, bring balloons and, and streamers. It's something that the community had never seen before. The hospital staff had never done a health fair before. Sims had never participated in a health fair before, but we thought it'd be a lot of fun and maybe a little bit chaotic, but it would be fun overall. So we thought, let's try to work on that. So when I came in September, I came to do an uh, initial assessment, talk with the physician to find out what were some of the health needs in the community and what were some of the other issues that we could work towards. And we found out that malaria was a huge issue here in this region. Many um, kids um, were dying of malaria. So that's why we decided that we would try to focus on malaria since it was a number one issue um, and cause of death and disease. We thought that it would be nice if we could get mosquito nets in the hands of people because we asked what were some ways that malaria could be prevented and the two effective ways are spraying and the other is having people sleep under insecticide treated bed nets. And then we decided, okay, well it would be a neat idea if we could have a health fair and have several booths that people would go to and then at the end we would give them a free insecticide treated bed net. These are the mosquito nets that we gave out yesterday. It says Super Moustiquaire. These are the mosquito nets and then you have to um, fill the bag with water and they had the treatment to impregnate it so that it could have the insecticide. Once enough of the population is using treated bed nets, then the overall prevalence of malaria in the population goes down because what happens is that when the mosquito comes into contact with the bed net that's treated, it dies because it, it then it comes in contact with the chemical. And so what happens is the overall population of mosquitoes drops and so then actually even people who don't sleep under bed nets benefit from a bed net campaign. Engele. Engele. This is Engele here. This is his mosquito bed net. He's 17 years old and he said that he, he, hadn't had a, he didn't have a mosquito net before this. So this is his first one and I'm assuming that he went to the fair yesterday and that's why he has his mosquito bed net here. This is Apuma Shilian. She has three children. Uh, their age is five, four, and her youngest is one year old. And she got a mosquito net yesterday and she has it up and she and the, her one year old sleep under it right now. So she has enough room for the other two because there's a five year old and a four year old. And again, they're the most vulnerable for contracting malaria. So there's enough room for them. And as you can see, here's a mosquito net that, care, that covers the whole bed. And these are already impregnated with the insecticide for the baby. So.